Welcome to Fox Talk. Well, the end of Alzheimer's starts with you. That's the slogan for this year's Walk to End Alzheimer's. Debbie Hayes is here to talk about this year's walk. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Lauren, for having me. I appreciate it. Before we get into the details about the walk itself, let's talk about Alzheimer's and Alzheimer's research. This is something that's affecting a lot of people. Yeah, currently uh, a lot of folks don't realize it's the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. There are more than five million Americans with Alzheimer's disease. And um, another curious fact is there are five million Americans with Alzheimer's. That's more than breast cancer and prostate cancer combined. That's just a huge number. And so this is something that really is important. And it's not just something that affects a lot of people think, oh, well, why would I walk if, you know, I don't think a family member of mine has Alzheimer's. What does it mean to me? But you've got a very visual demonstration for us about how many people this affects. Yes, um, Alzheimer's doesn't um, just affect the person with the disease. Mm -hmm. It consumes families. It's um, an obsessive kind of thing. It, it eats away at fam family dynamics. Um, and when we have our walk events, uh, we um, celebrate and bring all of those family members mm -hmm. together and everybody has a different reason for walking. And the, we have our uh, Promise Garden flowers. There's a mm -hmm. significance for each color, for example. Um, the blue means that you do have Alzheimer's or dementia. Um, the purple means that you've lost someone with Alzheimer's. Um, there are so many people that have passed away and we have a lot of purple at our events. Um, the yellow um, signifies those folks who are caregivers. Mm -hmm. I carry a yellow, my dad has Alzheimer's, so oh, wow. um, yellow is for the caregivers. And our orange flowers uh, are very significant. They are for the folks that support our vision of a world without Alzheimer's, but they don't yet have a direct uh, family contact with Alzheimer's disease. And you know, these, and the, at the walk, they create a promise garden and everybody writes on the flowers, you know, who, who you're walking for, in honor of, whatever it may be, and then they put them at the end and they create this beautiful visual of everybody coming together, like you said, to create a world without Alzheimer's. And let's take a look at those quick facts that are gonna go up on your screen on Saturday, October 17th at the Louisiana Boardwalk is the walk itself. Now there is no registration fee. So show up at eight o'clock in the morning and get checked in, register, create a team beforehand if you want by going to that website, alz.org slash walk. And obviously you'll look for the walk here in Shreveport, but it's a really, it's on a, it's on a 5K, it's not yeah. a half marathon. <laughs> you are walking around the boardwalk and you're showing um, solidarity. Debbie, yes. thank you so much for being with Thanks us so this much morning. Thanks so much for having me, I appreciate it. look forward it. to seeing you out there at the walk. Everyone have a great day. We're gonna see you right back here tomorrow.